Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to mine for Ergo using MB Miner on a Windows 10 PC. We're going to be using the Hero Miner spool, so let's get started. So the first step is to open up our browser and head over to GitHub. We want to go to the Nubotech page, which contains official releases of the miner. I'll have a direct link for this page in the description below. At the time of recording, MB Miner version 38.2 is the latest version out. If we scroll down a bit here, we can find the Windows version, which is a zip file, and we can click on it to download it. Now, Chrome might see this as an issue or a threat, so we want to make sure that we remedy this by clicking on the Show All option on the right-hand side, select it, and then up here at the top, we can say Keep Dangerous File, and then Keep Anyway. Miners are typically seen as a threat to the PC because of the way they operate, even though they're safe. So what you want to do is make sure you add your miner to an exclusion list. And if you haven't already done so, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through those steps. Now we're ready to extract the files that we downloaded. So we'll go into our miner folder, right click on the zip file and say extract all and extract the files into the same folder. With the files extracted in the folder, we can just open it up by double clicking on it. And inside here, we have all the files that are required to run MB Miner. Okay, now that we have MB Miner installed, we're ready to edit the batch file for Ergo. So if you take a look at the list, you have a whole bunch of batch files here. And here is the Ergo one. This is the one that we're going to be editing. So to edit it, we're going to right click on it and select edit. And this is going to open up in notepad. And what we have here is we have a few things. We're going to have the name of the miner, which is MB miner. Then we have the coin that we're going to be mining right now, which is Ergo. And next we'll have the server address. So this is the existing one right now that we're going to be changing the port number, the username, which is going to be your wallet address. And then you have your, your miner name or your worker name which right now is listed as default. We'll be changing that. And then the dash log, so that means it's going to be logging everything for you in a log file. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is modify the server address. So I'm going to open up my browser here. I'm going to be using Hero Miners in this example, but there's a bunch of other ones that are available and I'll list them like this. They'll also be in the description below. So you can use any miner, but in this example, we're going to use Hero Miner. So I'm located in North America and I'm on the East Coast. So this is going to be best for me. It's located in Canada, but if you're in the West Coast, you can use the United States one. If you're anybody, if you're anywhere else in the world, you have all these international servers available. So I'm going to highlight this and it includes the port number. So it's 1180. So I want to highlight it all. I'm going to copy it by right clicking on it, select copy. I'm going to go back to this batch file and then I'm going to be taking out the entire part right here, the, which is the address and the port number, and I'm going to paste in the new one. Now, it's very important that you don't touch anything before it, like the colon slash slash. You want to leave it as is. And then the username. So now the username is the wallet address. And if you don't already have a wallet, I have a video, and it's this one, and I show how to get a Ergo wallet using Yori. So I have my wallet right over here, and... I'm going to click on receive and here is my wallet address. So I can just copy that. I'm going to go back over and now I'm going to paste it in. Okay. And next what we want to do is change the worker name. You don't have to do this. This is completely optional for me when I have multiple computers running and I want to check out the status of it. It's just easier to identify it with. So I'm just going to put in CJ minor here. Okay. There we go. So that's it. And now we just have to file and save it. And we've saved our changes. The next thing we can do is go ahead and start running our batch file. So I'm close out of this. I'm going to close out of that. And now we're ready to start up our miner and start mining Ergo. So we can just uh, double click on the batch file. And it just takes a moment for it to load up. Our configuration information is going to load up right at the top. And then it's going to join the pool. And then it's going to start looking for blocks. Uh, and then start actively mining. So this whole process takes a few minutes and we're mining Ergo on a Windows 10 PC using NB Miner. So we're up and running. Um, you probably want to know, how do you check for profit? So you have to let the miner run for about five to 10 minutes and then we can go to the Hero Miner website and we can take a look at the stats. So let's take a look at that. So I've let NB Miner run for about 10 minutes now 
and it should update on the Hero Miner website. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the webpage right now and we'll check it out. So I'm at the ergo.herominers.com. This will be linked in the description below. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down here to the bottom where you can put in your uh, address. So you just have to paste it in there. This is your wallet address. And then you click on look up and if it'll populate below some information for the wallet. Okay, and now the minor information is coming up. So we have our current hash rate right here. I have 42.40 and it lets you know the average so far. It hasn't been an hour. I've only, I've only been doing this for like five, sorry, for about 10, 15 minutes right now. So these averages will change over a period of time and then it lets you know all the stats related to your miner. If you scroll down a little bit more, uh, then we get your estimated earnings. They have it in Ergo and then they have US dollars and that's been converted to BTC as well. So you get your projections as well for the weekly and monthly and what you're expected to earn if you keep the rate that you're going right now. And if you look down here under workers, you have the miner that we just created. I called mine CG miner. Like I said, if you had multiple miners, you'd have them all listed here and whatever name you had, it would populate. So that's why I'm just saying it might be easier to change the name. So it's just easier to find when you're looking at the stats for it. So this is all the statistical information, how it's been running for an hour, six hours, 24 hours, and it'll let you know all that info right there. And then you get the block rewards, which is down below and then your payment history. And that's pretty much it. We're using MB Miner to mine Ergo using Hero Miner's pool on a Windows 10 PC. We're up and running. We've taken a look at the miner itself. We've configured the batch file, and we've also looked at the pool on the website and, and got all our miner information there. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. And if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I've created a dedicated channel called Crypto Jar. So if you're interested in guides and tutorials for crypto miners and wallets, you can go and check that out and consider subscribing. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.